I'm here to tell you a story how I came to recognize the basic ingredient of life. All right? I was born in a small town called Neviano in South Italy. Growing up, I was surrounded by the most amazing food and grown in a farm and homemade from my mother. At that time, I didn't know how those things were good. And uh, at lunchtime at school, I was so embarrassed to eat the homemade bread with tomato and olive oil, while the other kids, they were eating Nutella, prosciutto, and Ostor bread food. And many times, because I was embarrassed, I would go in the bathroom and to eat my snack. <laughs> Life for me was very hard at that time. I was blamed for everything, literally, for everything. I suffered from abuse from my dad, from teacher, and the local priest. And my favorite time, was when I was in my mother's kitchen to help her. Or she would send me to my grandmother to help her to stuff figs with almonds and to make homemade pasta. I ran away from home many, many times, taking whatever was available from people's farm. And many times I would go to bed cold and hungry. And whenever I would come back home, I would eat whatever was in front of me. I would devour everything while my mom will look at me with a watery eye. At 13 years old, I had enough. I decided to live forever. I left for a big city where I couldn't find any farm to steal food from. <laughs> I was homeless, I was hungry, I was so scared. I met this man at the train station who introduced me to prostitution. For the first time in my life, I had money and the first thing I did, I bought a big jar of Nutella. <laughs> I was so happy. <laughs> Required by the law, I had to join the military. So life got a little bit better. I had a place to sleep. But the food was the worst. And soon I started to dream of my mother's kitchen. I started and I realized how good her bread with tomato and olive oil was. My bad luck finally changed when I met a beautiful American girl in Italy. She became my wife. I arrived to Seattle with very little education and no English. Street smart and a little knowledge in the kitchen. And I was so fortunate to work with amazing chef to get a job in the kitchen. And from the knowledge and the memory of my mother, I developed a big appreciation for fresh, good ingredients. With my wife and my job in the kitchen, I finally had everything I was missing. Good food and good touch. I became a chef, and all I wanted to give pleasure to people with my food. Over the years, I realized I wanted to share with other what I think are the basics of life and my passion. Food and touch. So I tried to figure out my ideal job I created a new title for myself, Pleasure Activist. <laughs> a few years ago, I had this great, crazy idea of placing fruit and vegetable on people's skin. I brought in my very good friend, photographer, Matt Friedman. <laughs> great photo, huh? Uh, we are very good friends. <laughs> and we started La Figa Project. Our first shot, I completely covered the whole body of this beautiful woman with 1,500 slices of cucumbers. <laughs> In four years now, Matt and I have done over 40 shoots for a book that will help me to spread my philosophy about the importance of food and touch as a basic ingredient of life. The first photo, uh, those photos range from lingerie pomegranate to a warrior face tattoo with white chocolate. To create those images, I had to come up with a new technique to keep this food on, fresh and bright, <laughs> and long enough for Matt to take amazing photos. Our first models were mostly women with beautiful body. Then we added men by women request. <laughs> then I realized something very interesting, that fruit and vegetable have something in common with the human body. They come different shape, 
sight, color, smell, and taste. So I added models of different shape, color, and age. My idea about food and touch and the importance of sensuality came from the craving I had the first 20 years of my life. But I see those things, those needs in everyone. Sensuality of food is similar to the sensuality of sex. We must eat from the inside. We must eat from the in outside. We need nutrition beside food. We need touch for reproduction and love. I appreciate good food, a good ingredient, and home cooking more than anything. Food continues to be love for me. Food is love. F touch is affection. Food and touch are the basic ingredient of life. We are not only what we eat, but with whom we share our body and our mind. For your health and happiness, remember two things. Eat well and make love. <laughs> Go ahead.